All right, guys. Today we're going to show you how to record music for your game using Free Loops from scratch. I have here Rob. He does the hey. music for Money Gun Games, and uh, he's going to show you some of his process. We're going to use all free tools today. So at the end of this, you'll get a track for your game, and we'll show you how to drop it in a game. So um, first thing to do is download the software from the website. Uh, what I recommend is going to Google and search for the phrase Free Loops Demo Download, so you don't have to dig through their website, which takes quite a while. It'll bring you to this link, click this first one, and this will start the download. Now, I've already got this downloaded to my computer, but go ahead and do that at 600 megabytes, so it'll take a few minutes. And when that's finished, uh, pick up the video, and we're going to start at the point where we have the file downloaded here. So I'm going to run the installer, and uh, we're going to walk through the first couple of steps with you to make sure the installation setup goes correctly. So this is Windows 10, so we have to accept that security error or check as it were. And then on this screen here you go next and then go through the terms of service and study them carefully and agree. And then for this, um, if other people in your studio are going to use this, all users is good. Current user is also fine, but we're going to go with the default for all users. In this screen here, uh, leave everything default. There is a notable 32 and 64 bit version of the program. You can use that depending on your processor, but both will work for this. And then where it specifies the default paths, we're going to click Next right through and keep them all as they are and keep things nice and simple. And so when you hit the Install button, it'll start to install the software. I'm going to pause it here for a moment and pick it back up in a minute. Okay, we're back. So now this last screen here is uh, the final thing to hit Next. And this will tell you a little bit more about Free Loops Mobile, which is really fun. And then Finish finishes your installation. So this installed two icons on my desktop. I'm going to run the 64-bit version of Fruity Loops. 32 is also fine. And uh, with that, I'm going to hand this over to Rob for further explanation. All right. So since this is a demo version, it basically pops up with a demo song in the playlist, playlist thing right here. This basically is just showcasing what is new with Fruity Loops. Since you guys want to learn how to do your own music, we're going to go ahead and go to New, and it's going to bring up your blank slate. Um, there are three really main parts to creating a song. Obviously, there's more, but we're going to go over the three basic ones just for the sake of keeping things simple today. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at this area right here, which is your playlist. Your playlist is pretty much your song from beginning to end. You can have unlimited tracks, and you can make it unlimited and link going that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to your channel, um, your channel rack. Uh -oh. And you're going to select uh, whatever instrument you want. For the sake of the demo, we're going to use uh, Citrus that actually comes with the producer edition. I'm not sure if it actually comes with the $100 version um, or the $100 one. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to go over to our piano roll, which is right here. And this is where you're going to plug in your music. Um, I highly recommend getting a MIDI keyboard controller. It's going to make your music a lot more authentic and it's going to be a lot easier for you. But you don't necessarily need it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the mouse to plug in a basic, um, a basic uh, sample. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to go into Citrus and we are going to go to Presets. And there is a lot of presets in here. I recommend spending a little bit of time finding the kind of sound you want. I personally like Above the Clouds for whatever reason. It's got a real fat sound to it. So you're gonna click on that. Make sure that you're above the. Make sure that the sample's selected, and then you make sure you're uh, you're selected um, in the piano roll. Then you're gonna come over here, and you're gonna just plug in a basic sample or a basic few notes. By all means, this is just for a demo purpose. Please spend some time on this. Get a little more creative, and that really, really want to spend some. Uh, quality time on making um, the music. So there's your basic pattern. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come to your, your uh, playlist and you're just going to plug in the pattern right there. Then you can always go to another uh, pattern by selecting pattern 2 through however many you want. For this one we're going to go to pattern 2 and you're going to type in say every four steps. Then you can come to your playlist, and every four steps are already filled in. So doing that, go ahead. Now I know this sounds really horrible right now, but we're going to try and uh, just we're just doing this just for the general purpose of showing you guys how to make a song. So you're going to put 
your patterns in line like so. So if you say you want to get say you want your song to be a certain length, you are going to need to cut it down and there's a couple of ways you can do that. Um, let's say you don't want it to go over a certain amount of time and you're going to come up you're going to come up to this little razor blade right here and one way of cutting it is just sliding it down like that and then clicking on your pencil and then right clicking on the end of it and that will cut the end of the pattern off. If you don't want to do that, you can always come up to edit and undo playlist playlist delete and then undo the clip. And then the other way of doing it is right clicking on that, sliding it down and then the the, the, the tail end of it will automatically disappear. <clears throat> The third thing that you need to keep in mind too is your channel routing and your channel selection which is right here. This is obviously really big so we're going to minimize this to make it a little easier to control. You're going to come over here to your channel racks, make sure all your channels are selected and then you're going to come to insert one, right click and then go to channel routing. Um, since we have all of them selected you're going to go uh, route selected channel starting from this track and then all of your channels are selected and are in the in in your uh, mixer. So say we've got a, we got a kick going and we want some effect on that. You're just going to go over to this one and you're going to select whatever the, whatever effect you want, and you can have up to ten different uh, effects per channel. That being said. Since we're using the free version of Fruity Loops, you cannot save your work, but what you can do is you can come over here and you can, let's make sure we get this right before we export it. Let's fill this back in real quick. Okay, so since you're using the free version, uh, the demo version, you can't save your work. I recommend getting Fruity Loops, at least the uh, producer edition, if not more. With the producer edition, it comes with um, Edison, and we're going to get into Edison later on in another video. But basically, Edison will allow you to uh, record external audio, mics, and instruments, and stuff like that. So we're just going to go to export, and we're going to hit MP3, and then we are going to let Nate take it over from here. Okay. Thanks, Rob. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So you've made your track. You've got the sound you're looking for. Now it's time to export an MP3 file to put in your game. So I give it any kind of title. My song. And I'll put this on the desktop so it's easy to find. Uh, this screen here, default's good to go. Mm -hmm. Default's good to go. <clears throat> so I hit start. This will take your track and turn it into an MP3 file. Now MP3 is going to be really good for working with in Unity, so that's the file format I suggest you use. Okay, so after the track's been exported, you see it on the desktop here. <laughs> that sounds so horrible. Um, so that's our jam here for our game. We'll go to our game in Unity. Now I have a demo popped up here with the new Unity VR stuff, and we're going to swap our own music in for this. So. I'm going to take the file from the desktop and left click drag it into the projects menu under the assets folder and import it into Unity, which creates this object here. And you can left click drag this object into the hierarchy and it'll create its own sound object. So I'm going to rename that audio just to keep things tidy. Now, on here, if you want your music to loop, you want to make sure to click the loop uh, checkbox in the inspector. So with that in place, so we play the game, we should have audio. There we go. So now you have audio for your own game. In this case, we get a space game, so yeah, it kind of goes with it. <laughs> it does make it more interesting to play here in your own side of the game, though. I give that to it. So hopefully this has been helpful to you. Making your own tracks for your own music. Fruity Loops is free to download. Everything in this video you saw can be done for free. So enjoy that. Um, next time, let me stop the music. Next time, we're going to talk about Edison and how to record your own sounds with the mic and even record your own instruments. And we're also going to show you how to hook up a uh, MIDI controller and how, how to get that working and all the little intricacies that go along with it. There, there's the Akai Mini, MPK Mini 2, I think it is. It's a good, it's $100. It's it's got everything that you need, and it's uh, very affordable and very handy. Great controller. 
Okay, thanks guys. Hope this was helpful to you. See you next time.